guys, so we all know that I'm a huge DIY whore and today I want to show you guys my craft room. Never showed anybody my craft room before. And it's kind of like my sanctuary where I just get away from the kids and my husband and you know I do my crafts and it's therapy for me. So I want to you know let you guys into my sanctuary. So let's go. Welcome to my craft room. So. This is actually in my attic and it's right above my bedroom. So literally the kids are sleeping, I just go up one flight of stairs and I'm here. So this is my craft room desk. Um, I don't really work on it. I should because it'll probably be better for my back. But basically I just like to um, have organization here. This is actually two baking sheets on top of a candlestick that I glued together. Spray painted these gold so it kind of looks more chic and you know cute. The glass containers are from Dollar Tree, so literally all dollar, you put your markers in it. And I saw this on Pinterest and I wanted to copy it. So basically, you just get a cupcake holder or, or baking sheet. You spray paint it gold and then these are plastic cups that I spray painted gold. So it kind of organizes your brushes, your markers, your scissors. So then, I saw this on Pinterest, I have a lot of ribbons. I make bows for Sissy and then I also sell them on my Etsy store. So it's basically a pant holder or a tank top holder that you would use in your closet, but instead you use it for ribbons. So I got these on Amazon for probably six bucks each, so I have two here. You don't have to take the ribbon out and all that, you just pull it and it's there. And this is what I make, Sissy's bows. We have two leopards. So I like to keep all my products like in a nice bin. So when I go to craft shows, I got it here and you just show people. So this is just more ribbon. These bins are from the Dollar Tree. Of course, I love spray painting things gold. I spray painted the bins gold. So now they look more elegant and more stylish. Thick ribbon, my thin ribbon, yarn ribbon, patterned ribbon, and then wire ribbon. So this is what I made when I was bored. This tin is silver, it's from the Dollar Tree. I painted it gray. It's kind of like a little picture frame. Like I use my stamp, my two owls. I love you to the moon and back, a little stamp. You hot glue gun this little guy here and then you just put Sissy's picture in. So this is like a cute like way to make a DIY frame, Dollar Tree. So as you can see, I get all of my stuff from Dollar Tree. I love it there because the quality is great even though it's a dollar and Dollar Tree is my jam. One, two, three, four. Four bucks for these bins. So you stick it on there with a sticker and then you put these on there. Obviously you can't put anything too heavy. So I put my twine in here. I got washi tape. I'm starting to do a lot of fabric tote bags on my Etsy store. So I just have random fabric there if I want to do it. Gianni got me this as a present. You're gonna see it on my FYI show, Shore Flip. But basically Gianni came up here he realized shit was everywhere and he wanted to organize it better with shelving. So he bought me this shelving, which is just so perfect. Bins for my pearls, my rhinestones. I got wood frames, scrapbook paper, which you can't go wrong with. So like I showed you guys before, you can actually use pans for organization. So here's some just cooking pans that you could get at Dollar Tree. Um, you can use them for anything. You can put beads in it, uh, markers, anything like here. So these are like my, my small fabrics. So when I do a lot of crafts, Lorenzo sometimes comes up here. So I made a little spot for Lorenzo. And it's down here so he can reach. So he basically just sits here and he has his construction paper. See like he made this the other day. So he just stacks stickers together. What I do is I wait for sales at Michael's. So these are Valentine's stickers and Valentine's was over so these stickers were like a dollar each. That's when you go and get your stuff for your kids. I got him markers, so I bought these on Oriental Trading. So that's like a wholesale place where you can get a lot of stuff for your kids. So I got him a million markers, so he never runs out, and he's always good. And then here is his finger painting stuff and more stickers. If you have cans, me and my family eat a lot of soup and we make a lot of sauce. So these are sauce cans that I save, and then I spray paint them gold. You could use these for marker storage, paint brushes, whatever. And I also save um, Sissy Similac. She doesn't use it anymore, but you know, once you clean it out, you could put your beads in here. This is good storage for whatever you need it for. So I keep it on hand just in case. So this is where I keep my stock. Not necessarily my mugs because I make my mugs downstairs because then I have to cook them. But up here, I just have random things, glassware, I have canvas stuff, um, 
wine glasses that I like to paint. These are the candlestick holders from Dollar Tree. So if you want to make, you know, like a cute little thing, like, um, where do I have it? Oh, I have it here. This is from Sissy's birthday party. So I actually have this in my in my closet and I put a lot of jewelry in here, like rings and stuff like that. So it's just like cute things that you can make in the candlestick holder. So I always have them on hand. So this is my new creation that I'm making since wedding season's coming up. So you have the little wedding flutes. And I decided to open up an Etsy store because it's been my dream. You know, making my mugs and my jewelry and my bags. I think it's just a great way to connect with my fans and also do something that I love, which is crafting. I hope you guys enjoyed my craft room. Make sure you check out my Etsy store and subscribe to my channel because I have new videos every week. Mwah. Love ya!